Harun, welcome. Abhidhar Pratap Singh, you're joining us on NewsX. Uh, we are uh, in conversation today with the team of uh, Trial by Fire, a much-awaited web series on Netflix, which has uh, uh, gripped the nation's attention because this was a case which did stir the emotions of the country when it happened. Uh, joining us is Abed Diol, Rajeshri Deshpande, and of course, uh, showrunner of the series. Uh, Prashant Nair, welcome all of you firstly to NewsX. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you. Uh, as I said, you know, this really is uh, a case which stirred the passions of the nation. We all know about it, particularly in Delhi, where we are doing this interview to, uh, today. What were your thoughts, Abhay, when you know the makers came to you with this subject? Obviously, you would have heard of this case when it had happened. I hadn't just heard of this case. I remember seeing it in the news. Um, in passing, I, I stopped and I remember being shocked. And then I kind of have vague memories of just how shocking it was. And the whole country was kind of at a surprise end. Um, but I, I basically felt, all right, let me read this. This is familiar. And then I love the script. I, um, it's a story that needs to be told. You know, I've always made an effort to play characters that are real, relatable. This is literally a real character. And uh, their story is really inspiring. They haven't just uh, gone against the system for their own sake, uh, for you know, their own children, but even for you and I so that uh, we don't ever end up in a situation that their children ended up in. Uh, and as tragic as the story is, it's also very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like this needed to be told. Mm -hmm. I often say that films can either reflect our culture or create our culture. And this definitely reflects our culture. But by doing so, Prashant, the director, has also created the culture of real stories, mm -hmm. real tragedies, and um, shining a light on things that need, you know, to be shown. Uh, it is based on uh, r real life events and of course you're playing uh, two characters, uh, both you and Rajeshree, who are alive today. So when did you first meet the Krishna Murtis? Tell us about how that was. We spoke to them only a few days ago and then we hung out with them yesterday. For the first time? Yes. Okay. Uh, Prash Prashant will tell you why he didn't want us to meet. I mean, I've answered this question, but there was a special planning of prep that uh, the director wanted us to do okay. and he has some very good reasons, so he'll tell you why. Okay. Let me take that to Prashant. Uh, yeah, so, you know, very often when it's based on uh, real-life characters, that you know, you can go pretty far with the physical things, you know, prosthetics and all of that. And, and uh, that can be a slippery slope and you get distracted by that sometimes. And in this case, because what happened to them is so horrible and so difficult and so unimaginable, I felt the most important thing was that the audience feels what they felt. And for that, there needs to be emotional truth. Mm -hmm. And for that, you know, I, I just wanted them to be reacting, not thinking how would Neelam react in this situation, how would Shaker react in this situation, but to be reacting as they would react if such a thing happened, which is a very hard thing to, for actors to do. These are unimaginable things. So, you know, they had access to the book, to the videos, all of that, but I wanted them to be free and sort of um, able to really kind of uh, connect with what was happening emotionally in the moment because these are things that are I don't think you can ask of actors to do more difficult things yes. um, so so that was the logic uh, behind it okay. yeah. Radishi for you uh, what was the kind of prep like for this character um, uh, obviously that there was a team who was researching um, quite intensely for this project but for you what was the prep for the character and uh, uh, the intensity was it sometimes tough to uh, you know switch off offset yeah see when um my casting director Sanjeev Maurya and uh, Prashant uh, approached me and um, I uh, like you know after a few days of all the process of and Prashant said okay you know you're on board and uh, this is the material and like you know this is the script uh, so when I started reading the script I started researching because I come from a small town called Aurangabad which is part of Marathwada, Maharashtra and it's a tier 3 city and uh, when this happened uh, I was unaware of many things and I, I immediately I called my mother and I'm like this is uh, this I got the script this is the character and I'm going through all the material and how I don't know anything about it and she said of course I know about it because it was there in the newspaper but but then you know you you get back to your mundane life you have your own things and you move on uh, and that's what my mother mentioned you know when I, when I was talking to her that she yes. said you know it's very easy to move on because we don't pay attention we don't you know, we don't stand up. We don't think that, you know, okay, this can happen with you also. So that thing which really struck me that, you know, uh, that we don't think that it will happen to us. Yeah. 
it can happen to any one of Absolutely. us. And, and it can any even happen today. Yeah. You know, we see these uh, kind of incidents very often uh, with uh, fires even till today. Uh, and sometimes media cycle is for two, three days and then it's forgotten. But for the families, you know, it's it's never forgotten. Uh, you know, it's adapted on a, from a book. So how was that procedure for you? How difficult or easy was that? Uh, well, the, you know, it, the materi material in the book is so difficult. Um, and I think the big challenge is to tell the story, you know, sensitively and, and never to exploit what happened to, to these people. Um, so that was the big challenge. Uh, the book was our primary source and then we complemented it with research and we met all the people. The Krishnamurtis were amazing in giving us access and information, but then they also allowed us to kind of tell our own story and you know they didn't peep over our shoulders and gave us the freedom to, to do what we needed to. But yeah, it's very challenging because these are people's lives and these are horrible things that have happened to them. But ultimately, I think it's worth it because the Krishnamurtis are, are inspirations, they're examples of what it takes to really make change in this country. Um, that kind of strength and fortitude to just show up every day for year after year, you know, and without ever giving up. And we thought, you know, all of us, that mm -hmm. by showing their story, mm -hmm. perhaps it would inspire people and make them think that even if we can muster up this part of their courage, then maybe that's how things change. Okay. Uh, well, uh, last couple of questions uh, to you, Abhay. Uh, one, of course, on also the intensity, because uh, as I said, it's a very, uh, you know, a, a difficult portrayal. So was it easy to switch off offset or did the character leave an impact for you for a while? Well, uh, the Asian, the, it was very difficult to switch off offset. So in a weird way, it was easy getting into character because you were just so taken aback by the tragedy and the intensity of the pain that these people have gone through. I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. And so putting yourself in that space, uh, was easy in some ways, but yes, getting out <laughs> because if it was fiction, you get out of it, you get over it. I, in my own, because in my own early years, I wouldn't be able to distinguish between the two, and I would carry that mood on. So I learned the hard way not to do so, and I'd come out of it. Um, and uh, now suddenly, I found myself falling back into that trap that I'd walked myself out of. So it took some time to get out of uh, the zone that this character took me into. Okay. Finally, uh, you know, um, straddling OTT and, and, and cinema, how has that been for you? Because you've had a couple of OTT releases, we've seen web series, also movies on OTT platforms. So how has been that experience for you? And and your fans always have this question whenever we meet you for promotions. Uh, why are with you so choosy? Why so less of you? <laughs> I wish I could do a lot more. Uh, it was tough when I started because there was less... There was no OTT platforms, of course, uh, and the industry was still very close-minded about experimenting with new ideas and new talent. And um, so it's always been an effort to try and change the narrative. Mm -hmm. the f I was, of course, younger, so I was more reactionary. I didn't have the maturity to deal with the situations I found myself in. And so I think that kind of alienated me a little bit. I alienated myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and I felt even worse when I took chances with ideas and new directors that it was then just kind of skimmed over. Mm -hmm. It was not explored uh, to its f more potential because I think in the industry the, the impression was it's just a passing phase or it was just fluke or luck. So it just made me withdraw quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, the OTT platforms have given a more democratic environment yeah. they are because they will make you the mainstream product but they will also make you the non-mainstream product. Sure. They're a digital space. Mm -hmm. so. I'm slowly kind of making my way back in. It's, it's not something I would, I can't even do like five projects in any case. It, you know, the kind of stuff I do takes a lot out of me. But I hope there would be a lot more now. Unfortunately, after this releases, I only start my next film in March. Okay. And so there will be a gap yeah. before you see anything else. So that does happen a little bit. But maybe I'll pick up pace this year. Who knows? Okay. Well, that's your new resolution maybe for 2023. Thank you all so much and all the very best to you. Uh, uh, Deck's cleared. Uh, the court has also cleared uh, the release. And uh, it's, it's streaming now uh, very, very soon. So all the very best to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Thank you. Cameraman Avdesh uh, with Cameraman Avdesh, Shudhar Pratap Singh in Delhi, News X.